Hello. How are you? I asked AI, give me one and only one option here. I want an extremely, absolutely interesting tourist attraction in Europe. Not something super common like the Eiffel Tower. Give me an option. They said, consider visiting Keske Krumlov in the Czech Republic. <laughs> so, hey, that's what I'm going with. I mean, I, I only, I, I, I said one option. So, I found this video, Rick Steves Europe. Go check it out. Link down below. He's calling it Bohemia's Time Warp Town. Let's see what AI suggested. Moving on, we enter the region of Bohemia. This part of the Czech Republic, closest to well, it's stunning. Germany, is much appreciated for its pastoral countryside and floating a few hours down the Voltava River through Bohemian forests and villages. Wow. You see why. You don't see anything quite like that in America. Families and gangs of friends enjoy multi-day river trips. Gangs of friends. You do see some gangs of friends here in America. And just gangs. These guys aren't letting a little rain dampen their spirits. Anyone passing through can rent a canoe and enjoy a paddle, short or long. Float companies pick you up and drop you at convenient and scenic... It's the type of thing a dad will be like, yeah, we're renting a, we're renting a kayak, you know. We're going to go work. We're going to go paddle up and down the stream. Spots of your choice. Yes. Whoa. Along with the flow takes you to my favorite stop in the Czech countryside <laughs> outside hell? of Prague. I would definitely assume I'm not allowed to do that. Chesky Krumlov. Here we are. The enchanting town of Chesky Krumlov, buried in the hills of Bohemia, lassoed by its river and dominated by its castle feels lost in a time warp. <laughs> it's an actual fairy tale. It's delightful old town of shops and cobbled lanes. Characteristic little... I can't believe people actually live here. Restaurants and easy-going canoeing options makes it a favorite with tourists. Where's all the billboards? The neon signs and the lights and the blah, 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 blah and the loud honking cars. And there's no shortage of accommodations. Our home is the Castle View Apartments. Plush and thoughtfully equipped, my room is typical of the work locals are doing as even medieval lofts are being renovated to meet the needs of the <laughs> growing number of visitors. Open hey, good for them, growing number. A handy kitchenette. This would be so cool. And as its name promises, I need to visit a place like this. I just decided right now I'm visiting like a Old Bohemia town. A castle view. Make this a fine temporary home. With the natural moat provided by the Voltava River, Holy it's crap. no wonder this place has been a choice spot for ages. The 16th century was the town's golden age, when Chesky Krumlov was a cultural power, hosting artists, scientists, and alchemists from all over Europe. The town's many alchemists set their sights on the mighty castle of the Rosenberg family. <laughs> For three centuries, until about 1600, the Rosenbergs, Bohemia's top noble family, ran the city from this perch. Its 16th century Renaissance paint job is fancifully restored. Visitors wait their appointed time for a tour in the castle courtyard. The interior <laughs> gives a- Even just touring the courtyard would be cool. Glimpse of the ultimate in Bohemian noble living through the ages. Imagine being a guest back Do in- Do I get to eat that? Bohemian Whatever's on that table? Through the Can I eat that? I don't think so because there's a sign. I'm guessing not. Imagine being a guest back in the 16th century of this man, Count Rosenberg. I wouldn't know what to do. I wouldn't enjoy know the, the, the manners. Good here, which celebrate a Rosenberg family wedding. Then, riding his assembly line of fine living, you'd dine here. <laughs> Come back two centuries later. I would feel like I was going to be murdered. Later, and you'd dine here. And if the Count is tired of your... I'd feel like they'd bring out a dish for dessert and I'd find out it was my nephew. Like, a meat pie. ...company, she'd retire to her adjacent bedroom. But only after a servant lit the candles on her Meissen porcelain chandelier. Porcelain chandelier. And, of course, the party would go on. Perhaps with a Venetian-style masquerade party in the ballroom. <laughs> oh, my God. For a little fresh air, very lavish. Down this corridor, a 
150 yards to the Count's formal garden. But don't forget, at 8 p.m., the candles would be lit for a play in the Baroque Theater. Europe once had several hundred fine Baroque theaters like this. Using candles and oil lamps for light and pyrotechnics for special effects, eventually most of them burned down. Today, only four survive that are in beautiful shape and open to the public, like this one here at Krumlov Castle. Baroque theater was all about melodrama. Lighting, perspective, and sound effects were all melodramatic. <laughs> Even the weather was thrilling, with machines to make horrifying wind. Really? <laughs> That's what that is. <laughs> oh my god. A driving rainstorm. That's not bad. And menacing thunder. Even back then, it was all about special effects. Wow. Oh, that's it? I feel like I was just getting to know Kesky Krumlov. I don't I still don't know how to say it. I should have I should have listened for his pronunciation. But ah well. I want to visit Czech Republic so madly. This medieval town is so astonishing. Thank you. I agree. That was phenomenal. Thank you, Rick Steves. And thank you, AI. That was a good suggestion. I'm trying to get in good with the AI before they do whatever they're going to do. Take over the world. Kill us. Um, <clears throat> serve me up as a meat pie. <laughs> do they eat meat pies? I don't think so. Thank you for watching. Have a phenomenal day. And be here tomorrow. Because I'll be here. Or don't. But I hope you are. Goodbye.